Hey guys and welcome. This is going to be my shave review of the Beaver Woodwright Shaving Soap. There you can take a look at the packaging for this soap. So this is an artisan soap that comes to us from Beaver, Pennsylvania. I just did a lather review of this stuff and I was really, really impressed. This is a uh, coconut oil based soap. It also has shea butter as a top ingredient there as well as stearic acid. It was really easy to load up, really easy to lather, made a really nice voluminous lather. It felt really slick in my hands and also gave a really nice post shave. So I'm definitely excited to give this stuff a uh, shot tonight. I have it here a few different scents. I have their Thomas 2, which is like their uh, citrusy scent. I have their Blackbeard, which is a bay rum and lime scent. Tonight's shave, I'm going to be using the uh, Shipwreck Cove. So it's an aquatic scent, so there's uh, notes in here of uh, kind of marine salt seawater notes, also with some citrus. I think a little bit of mint, maybe some peppermint in there. Maybe a little bit of vetiver in the background. I can't quite put my hand on it exactly, but really nice. Kind of that clean, fresh, masculine scent. It reminds me a little bit of the uh, Case Bubbles, La Marche du Rossage or De Rossage. Anyway, really nice here. Comes here in this uh, beautiful packaging. Uh, Waterproof label, uh, black top, clear sides on here, and it's $15 for a 4 ounce puck. Uh, so a little bit over the $3 an ounce range, but uh, really, really not too much uh, at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into a shave. Uh, for a tiny shave, I have one day of facial hair growth. Just got a shower, so my facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. I had the puck here blooming while I was in the shower, so I'm going to go ahead and take this bloom water add to my face. There you go. Tons of uh, bubbles from that already. So it's a really nice base on your face to kind of get the uh, shape started with. Need to grab a towel here. All right, shaving soap tonight. I'm gonna be going. Excuse me, shaving brush tonight. This is the uh, Samogue 830 Boar Hair Brush. It's a uh, it's a dye knot, which isn't my favorite, but honestly, the performance of this brush has really kind of turned my uh, opinion about dye knots, just because it performs so well. Go ahead and dip it here in some tap water. My sink's filled up with hot tap water here. Go ahead and wring out the extra water. This little bit of soap I got in my hands is pretty slick, so I'm gonna put a little bit of alum on there. I just have a little thing of some Razor Rock alum here. My fingers are already wet. I'm just kind of rub it on the top of the puck. Gives you a little bit of grip. There we go, awesome grip on this. Not going anywhere. All right, get the little bit of extra water off the top of the puck. Go ahead and load up. This is a softer soap, so I do not expect it to take long to load at all, especially with a boar hair brush with good backbone. And from blooming. Alright, this is... <laughs> I'm going to knock some of it off. I have loads load up already. That took like five seconds. Probably got too much on there. Alright, you go ahead and get into a face lather. So in the uh, lather view, I used the Thomas II, the, uh, um, the citrus-based soap. Uh, the scent wasn't too great on that soap. I'd say it's lighter. I'd give this a really, this is a strong medium scent on this one, which I like a little bit more. It adds to the overall experience if I can smell the scent of the soap. Alright, this is a little bit of paste down my skin, so I know I need to add some more water. So I'm just going to take my brush and just uh, dip the uh, tips of the bristles here in some sink water. Add it in. So I usually do that a couple times. I add some in there, re-dip it, add it in over here. Then one last time for my neck. There, right, now I'm going to work in the water. Very happy with where this is at. That did not take long to get a very voluminous lather. It's very thick on my skin right now. Just paint it over, kind of even it out a bit. Beautiful lather. All right, go ahead and get started for tonight's shave. I'm using my Recor 34C with an Astra SP blade in here. This is the second shave on this blade. First pass with the grain. I 
have had a little problem area right here with an ingrown hair that's opened up the past few shaves. So if this opens up this shave, I think I already did. No ding against the soap. <clears throat> Alright, excellent first pass, no issues there. Gave me plenty of protection there. All I'm looking for at the first pass is a nice cushiony lather. It just allows me to get that uh, the initial uh, hair off my face. Feels good, nice slickness behind too. Back to the brush, application for my second pass. gobs of lather in the brush there. Alright, second pass, cross grain this direction. Nice slickness here. I'm cruising right around my uh, chin here. No burning. Can definitely go back, no problems. Alright, second pass. This is very close. Lots of slickness behind. This is a very slick soap. Wow, especially for a vegan soap. It's impressive. All right, back to the brush. Lots of lather in there. Cross grain, this direction, third pass. Very nice protection. Right here on my neck, just cruising right down. Very comfortable. <clears throat> Alright, three passes. Let's see where I'm at. Really good. Plenty close here between uh, under my nose. Nothing left behind there. Awesome slickness. I don't need anything there. Good. Chin's good. Neck's great. I want to get here below my uh, lip a little bit. Alright. To the brush, pull out the final lather. Tons left behind. Still has nice thickness to it. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll apply it to uh, my entire face just to kind of lock in some of the moisture while I'm uh, tidying up a few areas. I don't even know where I'm going to really get. Uh, Right here, I want to get this. There. Alright, feeling around. Happy with that. Don't really need to get anywhere else. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up for some final remarks. All right, feeling back here, very close shave. Very, very nice, wow. Really nice post shave too. Feels very good, wow. Still have some slickness left on my skin. Nice and close here underneath my nose. My chin's nice and close. Face feels good. Um, I did nick myself a little bit right there. It's very, very minor, um, you know. I wasn't feeling any tugging anywhere, so I, you know, these Astra SP blades I do love. 
they, they are sharper than like my Persona Lab Blues, but they're a little bit less smooth. I haven't had the best track record with them in the past. I do love the blades. Um, they do give me great shaves, but they do have a tendency to nick me uh, a little more than, uh, than usual. Um, anyway, just putting that out there. But I did get a little nick here. I don't think that was due to the soap. I think it was just the blade. Uh, at least that's what I'm going to uh, attribute it to. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this soap. Uh, this is not really a category I judge anymore, but ease of loading up. This is a softer soap, so it's very easy to load up. You know, it just really like took probably five seconds, and I probably overloaded the brush. Because it's softer soap, it just takes a very minimal amount of time. So not a big deal. You just load up however much soap you want in your brush. I, I recommend loading up a lot. Uh, but nonetheless, it was easy to, uh, to load up. All right, the four categories I'm going to talk about with this soap. First of all are the uh, ease of lathering, the quality of the lather. Then I'm going to talk about its uh, overall like, cushion protection, its slickness, and the post shave. So the first category is the ease of lathering up. My top mark in that category goes to K's Bubbles. Compared to K's Bubbles, this honestly keeps with K's Bubbles. It lathered up immediately, very quickly. I added in a little bit of extra water there on my face to get it uh, to its full peak, but it was really easy. You know, it did not take much effort at all. I wasn't trying to like watch the water content. Uh, very, very easy to load or to lather up. It gets top marks in that category. Second category goes to the uh, the slickness, the or sorry, the cushion or protection of the soap. My top mark in that category goes to Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. Honestly, I'd say it's just a hair below Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. Really, really top notch. It's one of the top soaps out there. I'd say in terms of cushion, just a very, very voluminous, thick lather. Gave me lots of protection. Um, always had a thick layer of lather on my face, which I really do like a lot. Third category, slickness. My top mark in this category goes to Barrister and Man. In terms of slickness, I'd say this is a little bit below. It doesn't get quite top marks. Uh, tallow soaps for me just tend to have that little bit of extra slickness in there. This is still a very slick soap. Um, you know, I feel like I could go over areas a couple times, uh, you know, just due to residual slickness on my skin. Sorry, that little guys, just bleeding just a hair. Uh, a little bit of slickness left behind. I couldn't go over kind of like unlimited times and start to wear out, but still really good slickness, especially here on my neck. My neck is where I really feel a lot of tugging normally, but this soap is cruising right over my neck, so this really does get just about, uh, it definitely gets a high mark in this category. Um, finally, post shave. Post shave on this is definitely good. I feel my skin's nice moisturized here. Um, it does have shea butter in the soap, so I kind of attribute it to that. Shea butter usually has a really nice post shave. Uh, I know Soap Commander uses shea butter and a few other soaps out there. Um, this is a nice post shave. I think I could get away with this uh, in the summertime. It's unfortunately November 1st now, so I will add a uh, post shave balm for extra moisturization uh, after the shave, but still very, very nice. And the scent. This scent was the uh, Shipwreck Cove. I absolutely love this scent. It is, uh, it's an aquatic uh, men's cologne scent. I really do like aquatic scents. Uh, I think that they just are kind of like a nice, crisp, fresh scent out there. It's got kind of like marine, citrusy, a little bit of mint. It just has a nice kick, but so it's kind of a nice, refined men's cologne scent to it. Really nice, really nice scent. I can definitely still smell it here on my face, so I like that. I don't really judge scents of soaps just because it's so highly subjective between uh, all of us wet shavers out there. I like something, you might hate it, and vice versa, so um, I don't really take that into judgment when I'm judging a soap, but anyway, I still do think this is awesome. So overall performance, really, really impressive. You know, this is another awesome artisan soap out there. Uh, on its performance alone, I highly recommend you check out this soap. I think it definitely deserves you guys uh, checking it out. My only ding for this soap would have to be the price. It's $15 for a 4 ounce tub, so it's about $3.75 an ounce. I like for soaps sit around $2 to $3 mark range. Uh, my recommendation for Beaver Woodwright is just top off, you know, their tubs have extra room in here, just put 5 ounces in there. You're already at 4 ounces, you got extra room, just go up to 5 and then you're at $3 an ounce and it'd be top marks all around. Um, Nonetheless, awesome artisan soap. I, I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Please let me know below if you've used this soap, your impressions of the soap, which scents you like and why. I have a couple other scents here. I'm impressed with all of them. So overall, I'm very excited about this product. Definitely be keeping it around. It's definitely earned a, uh, a top spot in my uh, shaving den. So as always, guys, thanks for watching.